Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing another Will I Buy It video. This is the video series that I post on my channel every single Sunday in which we talk about this past week's newest makeup releases and whether or not we want them and why. This video was inspired by Samantha March. She has a pretty much the exact same video type on her channel and I believe her Will I Buy It videos are live every single Wednesday. Regardless, I absolutely love watching Samantha's videos. They are very, very informative, very uh, to the point. She has so much creativity and so many ideas. I'd highly suggest checking her channel out and as usual, it will be down below in the description box for your convenience. If you're new, hello, my name is Anya. I am 20 years old and I have a makeup channel here on YouTube on which I post every other day and on days in between. So on my channel you usually see about five to six videos per week and I like to make those videos on anything and everything about makeup. We have talked about runway makeup looks on this channel, we have delved into makeup history, we've also just done a little bit of makeup commentary on the industry, we've done a lot of deep dives into analyzing certain aspects of the makeup world and I also really love doing tutorials, reviews, and all that sort of stuff. Um, recently, however, I have been moving a lot, if not most of my makeup tutorials, to my IGTV. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram, I'll put it right over here, but it's Anishka MUA. So on that platform, I basically am posting uh, videos about two times a week in which I do my makeup tutorials. That's enough self-promotion. I'm just going to get right into the video since there is a lot to talk about. We had a lot of really I'd say interesting makeup releases this week, so let's just get right on into it. ColourPop is launching their Smoke Show collection, which will include several items, including some glitters, eyeliners, Super Shock shadows, and an eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is called the Smoke Show eyeshadow palette, and it features many different gradients of gray and silver tones. Now, I for one, surprisingly for many of you probably, actually really do like this release. I think Grey Shadow is one of the most underrated shades um, in terms of eyeshadow because a lot of people don't really wear it that much and I feel like I really should wear it more often myself. I personally love Silver Shadow as you can see. It's in my inner corners today, but I love just experimenting with both silver and gray because I find that those two colors specifically really help make my eyes pop. And I think that that's true for a lot of different eye colors and a lot of people have been requesting to see a gray scale eyeshadow palette from ColourPop as part of their nine pan monochromatic palette range. This coincidentally is perfect for Halloween. I believe that that's why they're launching it now in October. October, but I think that this is a good launch. I mean, it's definitely not something that we've seen before from many other brands. I mean, we have been seeing a few gray themed palettes pop up recently, but not as many as some other colors, for instance. I personally think that this is a great launch, and I would say that I'm considering getting this palette. I'm not sure if I will, because truth be told, I do have other gray shades in my collection, but I really like the idea behind this. Moving forward, we have a holiday set from Dominique Cosmetics. This is called the Sweater Weather Set, and this will include an eyeshadow palette with six matte eyeshadows, a liquid lipstick in the shade Cozy, which is gonna be a matte mauve, and then a gloss in Sugar and Spice, which is gonna be a warm nude with gold flecks. The eyeshadow palette is simple enough. It's a neutral color palette with a little bit of uh, colorful shades sprinkled in there as well. I do think that this is a pretty cohesive palette, but it is a unique looking color story. Does it fit the theme? Yes, I really do think so. When it comes to the gloss and liquid lipstick, I have to admit, not really interested in those. I like the liquid lipstick shade, but then again, I have so many other alternatives for this exact kind of shade in my own personal collection. And I honestly, like, I'm not into a mustard color gloss, mostly because I'm kind of insecure about like my teeth. So I don't really want to show them that much. Like with like, I don't want to show them with like a mustard gloss. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, is this something that I want to get? Like, is this entire collection something that I'm like obsessed over? No, not really. It's just not my cup of tea. It's not my style, but I do think it's rather a unique take on a holiday, uh, kind of kit. I think that 
they went into a good direction with this and I do see people enjoying this kind of thing. I don't see a lot of people loving that kind of mustardy pumpkin-y kind of gloss because that's kind of a finicky shade for a lot of people, I would think. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see what people think of this myself. Anastasia Beverly Hills is launching a Halloween glitter collection. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I'm sure that they are going to be launching a lot more Halloween kind of themed items later on in this month, but this is a glitter collection. And I personally think, like, I don't necessarily like the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter from what I've heard online. Of course, I haven't tried them yet, but people say that those glitters, the packaging is really finicky, um, it's really hard to get to the glitter, and I personally think that glitters that are $15 each, that's a little bit overkill. If we're talking about, like, Lemonhead and their, like, super unique kind of glitter formula, that's another story entirely, but if we're talking about a loose glitter, Glitter, it shouldn't, in my opinion, be $15, especially with such finicky packaging. So even though I love these colors, I think that they look super cool. Do I want these in my collection? No, because I can't not justify paying that money to purchase these glitters myself. James Charles and Morphe are coming out with a mini version of the James Charles Artistry Palette. As you probably already know, I already do own the original like large, you know, pressed pigments palette that James Charles and Morphe collaborated on. I actually use that palette a lot and I have been featuring it on this channel quite heavily recently. Because in my opinion, it is a pretty good palette. I think that uh, the colors there are really great. Uh, the formula is one that I really am enjoying right now, especially since I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer with those um, pressed pigments. Do I want a mini version of this palette? No. Do I think it's a good idea to get this palette if you already have the larger one? No. Do I think that it's a good idea to get this palette if you have never bought the larger one and you want a smaller version? Yes. I will say that if you're looking for a an edited, cheaper, potentially better version of an of a pressed pigments palette with very similar shades. Look no further than the Color Drain Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette. I actually did a video comparing the two palettes and in my opinion the Colored Rain one is slightly better and I do like the color story a lot more. That's just my opinion though and you guys know how much I love supporting smaller brands. So that's my cup of tea. But do I think that this is a cash grab? Oh yes, definitely. I do not necessarily see any other reason for them to be launching another version of this palette only in mini form for any other reason other than a cash grab, which is fair. I mean, everybody needs to, you know, pay for their Teslas. I I'm, I'm not trying to, well, I'm trying to be a little bit shady. I'm not, okay, let me just clarify. I don't love James Charles, okay, but I do respect his um, way of making money. I think that he's he has a very good team around him and they seem to be doing a very good job of monetizing his audience. And for that, I mean, I, I can't really criticize him for that. But yeah, I don't necessarily like James Charles as a person at this moment, but I will say that this is a good palette. So if you want to get a mini version, of course, you can totally get it. And they are also uh, relaunching the curated J James Charles eye brush set. So that one is gonna be $59 and the mini James Charles artistry palette is going to be $26. Originally, the larger size palette was $36. So I do think that a $7 difference doesn't necessarily make much difference at the end of the day, but yeah. Anyway, moving on, let's talk about this new beauty brand from Kimchi. So this is Kimchi Chic. Now, Kimchi Chic Beauty was created by Kimchi and NYX Cosmetics founder Tony Ko. 
Now, they have a lot of different launches here. They have their eyeshadow palette, which is called the Rainbow Shirts Eyeshadow Palette, and this will be retailing for $29. They also have a ton of glittery diamond shirts liquid shadows for $8, three high key gloss colors for $9, and then two handheld LED lit mirrors for $29, $25 each. Sorry, I just clicked a wrong button on my phone. But here's the thing. I, weirdly enough, I'm not too interested in the eyeshadow palette because it looks like a whole bunch of neutrals with a few pops of color. What I am interested in, however, would be the liquid shadows. They have a few shades that I like, such as the black, the gold, and the purple. I'm kind of interested in trying those shades out. And the price seems to be pretty inexpensive. It's $8, which surprised me because I assumed that this um, brand would be a little bit more higher priced. Uh, but I'm actually glad that the prices are so affordable. It looks kind of interesting. And if I won't get anything from this particular collection, I might I might wait around a bit and see if, the, if this brand is going to be launching anything else that I might be really interested in. But so far, this is a brand that I will be keeping my eye on. This is an indie brand called Creative Soul Cosmetics. This is a fall-inspired eyeshadow palette, which will um, include 16 shades, and this is retailing for $30. Is this something that I will absolutely be getting? No, because I'm looking at this and I think this is a rainbow palette. And as many of you already know, I'm not into those rainbow palettes. And I just, I don't want another rainbow palette in my collection. I have so many like rainbow-esque themed color stories in my collection already that I'm just, I don't want any more, okay? So this is gonna be a pass. Most definitely. The swatches look absolutely gorgeous though, so if you are somebody who doesn't necessarily have a lot of colorful shades in your collection and you want some pressed glitters because they are including a few pressed glitters in this palette as well, this might be a good option for you. Um, do I want it myself? Not really. Nabla is launching six new shades of a highlighter, which is going to be called the Skin Glazing Highlighter. And then they also have a few face brushes in this same launch as well. Now, these highlighters do look absolutely beautiful, but do I need highlighters right now? No. I think that Nabla is a brand that I definitely would like to try something from in the future, but I don't think this launch will be it for me because I think that highlighter, it's, highlighter seems to me to be the one of the most difficult products to actually use up because if you're using highlighter in like a very um, subtle, like glowy kind of way, you're not using a lot of it at once. And I personally have never hit pan on a highlighter and I've been wearing highlighter for years now so I don't know about you but I've never hit pan on a highlighter and right now I'm just trying to hold off on buying new highlighters um, and use what I have. I did get some new highlighters the other day but they're kind of liquid and I it's easier for me to use up liquid highlighters I will say that but do I want this? Not really. <laughs> Huda Beauty is launching some Obsession palettes. Now these are going to be called the Obsession Nude palettes and they have three different options. They have Nude Light, Nude Medium, and Nude Rich. I'm just not interested in this guys. This is a nude eyeshadow palette so therefore not my cup of tea. I prefer colorful palettes. I only have one of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes and that is the Smoky Obsessions palette and Weirdly enough, that's like one of my favorite like neutral toned eyeshadow palettes that I own. It's a really good palette. Um, I haven't bought any of the other ones though, but I definitely will not be buying these because these are very neutral, which of course is not my style. So anyway, moving on from that, there is a new holidays collection coming from Jouer. Now, Jouer is going to be launching an essential lip care duo for $25, a rose cut gems blush and cheek topper palette for $39, a lip set, which will include the lip creams in Charm, Fortune Peony, and then a gloss in Aurora, and then a lip topper, well, two lip toppers in Ethereal and Stardust. And this lip set will be retailing for $28. I believe that these lip colors are minis, and I will say this. I have tried the Jouer um, liquid lipsticks. 
or I've tried one. Not like, not my favorite formula of all time. It's very lightweight. It's a good formula, but I haven't necessarily been reaching for it over and over again. What I do love, however, are their lip toppers. They are absolutely beautiful. I've tried one and I forgot the shade name, but it's like a gold. It's so good. I believe it's called Skinny Dip. It's such a good formula. I absolutely love that. It's amazing. So if you're interested in these shades, of course, pick them up. I think that that's like the number one thing that I would get from this collection if I was interested in getting anything from this collection. I will say that just like looking at these lip shades, I have so many different dupes for the shades in this lip collection and I will say this, I'm definitely trying to buy now from brands that are not necessarily talked about as much and Jouer is a brand that a lot of people do talk about so I feel like I'm not really going to buy anything from this collection for that reason. Not that I don't like it, I just want to spend my money elsewhere. Moving on though, we have this palette right here from the brand Baby Bat Beauty. This is an indie brand and this is their Behold the Beauty of the Night palette. I kind of like it. It's very neutral looking, but it's it's a, it's a unique looking color story and I really do like it. I probably will not be ending like getting this particular eyeshadow palette because of how there are a few neutral shades in here, but the color story is one I actually really like. But the reason I'm not getting this is that there are several, several shades in this palette that I do not see myself using. That's the reason, but there are also, but there are again several shades in here that I do like but I only want to get things if I like absolutely almost every single thing in the palette, if that makes any sense. We have a launch from Copacetic, Copacetic, Copacetic Cosmetics. This is their Thin Ice Palette, and this will be available for $32 and launching November 1st. I looked at this and I immediately really fell in love with this color story. It's a super blue palette and I like how they're including several unique blue shades in here. I do want to see reviews on this palette before I end up getting it, if I do end up getting it, but I really, like I said, I do like the unique shades of blue that they have in here because we don't really see any like dusty like gray tone blues that much and we definitely don't see like a lot of like really vivid blue shades like we see in that corner of the palette. This is an interesting palette, definitely. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Those are all the things that I wanted to talk about for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. As usual, all the image credits, all my resources will be listed down below in the description box. There are a few really amazing um, Instagram accounts that I get all my information from for these videos, and I always love to credit them in the, in the description box of these videos down below. So with that, thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.